Welcome, Yay. kita masuk ke dalam vlognya Bang Reza Yang biasanya, oh, yang biasa ya Ya, ya hello guys ya. 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 Yang hello sering guys. buat ya, ya. Di, di kampus gitu kan Hello guys, jadi mau kasih informasi, informasi tentang arsitek. arsitek Jadi arsitek oh, itu terbagi iya. ke dalam beberapa macam Iya benar Saya gue dibully nih Mau kuliah di mana? Mau kuliah di mana? Kuliah di mana? Kuliah abal-abal kan? Iya kuliah abal-abal oh, Kuliah arsitek itu Kenapa ya? Ada pembagian-pembagian Susah, gak usah Kalau gue mau kasih tips ini tips Mau jelasin tentang arsitek gitu Uh, well, are we architecture students should worry that much? Let's talk in more general. Hello people, I'm Reza and you are all welcome. So, the new educational year and Turkish government's scholarships deadlines is approaching. But, you're still not sure which university you would like to enroll this year? Let's talk about it! As you might have been know, Turkey is located in transcontinental country between Asia and Europe. It's not only about Hagia Sophia, Sultan Ahmed, or Nusret, but more than that, it also has different kind of landscape from the west to the east where you mostly can see all of the green stuff on the west and a desert-like view on the east which is it's really really different. The ethnicity and the diversity of the people also really vary. You can see mostly Arab, Kurdish and Caucasian people on the east where most of the European nation of Turkish people living on the west but it's not really a, the thing right now actually I mean you can see all of the people in Istanbul mostly because it's a really huge city Why I'm talking about this? Because that differences also reflect to the different kind of lifestyle in the university life Not all universities in Turkey are the same from one city to another one university can be so conservative, in the other side, the art can be so liberal. So before choosing the best university for you, I think it's a wise choice for you to make a survey what Turkish people mostly choose for their university. Like in any other countries too, Turkey has its own university city, I guess? Is it the right English words? Yeah, you know what I mean. Those are like Istanbul, Izmir, Bursa, Ankara, Eskişehir, Kayseri, Gaziantep, and Çanakkale. The universities which is located in these eight cities, they have a better facilities, education, and also we not forget it has a better university life because there are so many students there. I am gladly telling you that many months, months, months ago, this really long time, I was selected to represent my department in York, or in English it's like higher educational institution of Turkey kind of stuff. Uh, what is York? So York is, as you know, higher educational. They are keeping the quality and credibility of the universities. So every year they are having, I'm not sure, is it every year or every kind of period? So the main purpose of their visits to every universities in Turkey, they are visiting and surveying not only the educational stuff, it also includes with all of the services. Is it reachable to the students? They are also checking about the schools, cafeterias, the foods. In my case, they are bringing all of the university teachers with the students. They want to know what the professor's expectations. They want to know that too from the students, what their expectations. Is it approachable? Is it match? And yeah, those kind of thing. From my department, it's just like three or four students. This is mostly from the first year, second year, third year, and last year, me. I am in the last year and I think there are many reasons why they choose me the first one is because I think I am in the last year now and I know my head department I'm taking the project class with her this semester so our relationship is kind of like near <laughs> as we can say and also the other reason because I'm the only foreigner in one generation uh, so yeah, I think uh, that's the reason they assigned me to 
represent our department. So representing your department in York survey is not easy process. It takes like many times you have so many meetings. I remember again in my time I was applying for Turkish government scholarship because I'm not really believe with my ability I decided to choose all the university outside of three golden cities in Turkey which is Istanbul, Izmir and Ankara and the reason of maybe I can get more chance to get into university I don't care the education stuff I don't care about the cities, I just want to study abroad at that time. And after I went to this process kind of standardization by York survey, I'm glad that I'm not accepted to those university. And why? I'll talk about it in the next video. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next video. People, you can hit the subscribe button to get more videos over there and you can catch up with me through my website, blog, podcast and Instagram account over there and see you in the next videos. Bye-bye!